is Twit. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, hello. I'm so glad to meet you, and I'm so sorry, but I'm going to say we're going to make it up to you. I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> Any costs incurred, anything that, uh, you know, your text messaging went through the roof or whatever, we'll take care of that. And, of course, we are going to send you an iPad as soon as they come oh, out. Today. Yeah. That's good. Enough. And I'll explain how this whole thing happened, too, once, once Glenn and I get on the radio. But I'm so thrilled to meet you. It's so great to it's so great to see you. Too. You're so famous. <laughs> Little did you know when you woke up on Monday morning. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was quite something, I can tell you. Oh, I bet. Now, uh, joining me in the Kiwi studio um, is uh, Lisa Etheridge. Good morning to you, Lisa. Good morning. Nice to um, nice to nice to have you in. Now, um, now this is all all just a, a little bit strange. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to kind of explain how this came together. So I'm also going to bring in Leo Laporte live from Petaluma, California, via the um, the Twit Live Network. Hello to you, Leo. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Leo. Now, this, this um, is so why, exciting. <laughs> Leo, I'll get you to explain why I have Lisa here in the Kiwi studio. Yes, this please, morning. please explain that. Yeah, poor Lisa. Uh, she woke up uh, Tuesday morning, and all of a sudden, uh, her Twitter account was going crazy. So. There's a, uh, a television personality in the States named Conan O'Brien who recently lost his job. And, uh, and he hasn't really had much to do. And uh, last week, he randomly followed a, a person on Twitter. And, and they tried to see how many followers she can get. And currently, she's got about 15,500 followers. So we do a show that's heard all over the world. I know it's heard in New Zealand and everywhere else called This Week in Tech. It's an internet uh, show about technology. And we thought, well, we, we'd want to do the same thing. We had on the show with us Kevin Rose. I know you know who Kevin is, Glenn. He's the founder of Dig, D-I-G-G dot com, mm -hmm. and a very well-known internet celebrity. And I said, well, Kevin, pick somebody. So he did a search, Lisa, on the phrase, I hate technology. And guess who he found? Oh, you. He found me. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, it was your second tweet. You had just joined Twitter, which is a service where people post, you know. Actually, it was my first tweet, first ever tweet. Wow. Was I hate technology. Yeah. And at the time, you had three followers. And so we just thought, well, for a lark, we'll ask all of our listeners to follow you. Now, the show's heard by about 175,000 people. And uh, at the time, we were live and a few thousand people were watching. They quickly followed you. And I think you're up to now 15,000 people who are watching your every move on Twitter. But we wanted to make this... Uh, I, first of all, I, I, Lisa, I apologize. <laughs> Apology accepted. Thank you. Huh. Apparently the iPad but, is going to be with this trouble. But Leo, why, why would you be apologizing? Well, I feel we didn't we didn't ask Lisa. We didn't get her permission. We 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 just did it, and it was kind of a crazy thing. Which, as if anybody listens to our show knows, we it's live, and we do kind of strange things from time to time. So. Uh, I feel bad, but that's... Yeah, I just, I thought it was something that I'd done wrong, being so focused on technology. I thought I must have pushed some wrong buttons. Oh, and, dear. You know, why did I have all these people when my friends didn't? So it took me a while to figure that one out. I, I should have said something. So here's what we're going to do to make, make it... I, at least I hope all right. Any, I don't know if you were having your um, your tweets pushed to your your cell phone. If you were, you might have a pretty big cell phone bill. We'll be glad to cover any costs there, any costs incurred at all okay. by this. And then what I'd like to do to give you for your trouble, I know that the iPad, the new Apple iPad, which is going to be sold in the U.S. in on April third, won't be available in uh, in New Zealand for a while. But what I'm going to do is buy you one here and ship it to you, and wow. that that'll be kind of your gift. You'll be the first person in New Zealand to Yay. have one. And then what we're going to do See, that, that, is... In that order makes me really jealous. <laughs> Glenn, if you're nice to Lisa, maybe she'll let you come over and look at it. And then, and then what we're going to also do, because we really want this number to go up. Currently, there's 12,665 people following you. It's on Twitter.com slash Lisa Tickled Pink. And I want to ask you about that in a second. But what we're going to do is pick at random... Uh, we'll we'll give it a few weeks. We'll wait till April sixth when the or April third when the iPad actually comes out. But on April third, we'll pick at random one of your many followers. By then, Lisa, you should have millions, and we'll give one you of those people an iPad. I'm going to have to quit school. It's a full time <laughs> job. Just checking out all these tweets. <laughs> Especially at the rate that they come through, mm. like every every about ten every every minute. So. so so a lot of people are tweeting you. Oh, millions! And um, I've got so, so, someone's. 
some so most people are really nice. You get the odd one who says, "Oh, Lisa, you're tweeting too much," and then you're not oh, tweeting enough. Ignore and, them. You know, we love you, Lisa. Lisa for president. <laughs> I've got a some marketing guru in um, the states that wants to all for free set up something for me that's tangible. <laughs> um, I've had offers of marriage. Are you kidding? <laughs> you name it, I've had it, and. Um, but most importantly, it's it's been a great link for what we're doing at school. Tell and, me about um, that, because this is just completely random. You were chosen, mm. although because Kevin just came back from New Zealand, I think that mm. that that's kind of you know was part of it. And also, he loved the "I hate technology." But so what? But you aren't you don't completely hate technology. Uh, I, I actually, I guess I love technology. I just don't know how to use it. So um, I'm studying uh, product and furniture design at Unitech here in Auckland. And this new project that's actually being launched today is in a collaboration with the University of Limerick in Ireland and a university in uh, Chile. And so our tech guru, who's fantastic, Tom Cochran, he came in and made us um, join up all these networking sites as part of the project so we could communicate and liaise with these students over there to talk about the differences with um, the, um, the client climate and uh, social social problems and things and how that will reflect on the product that we're designing around food. So this ties in quite interestingly and um, it could work for us big time. And, and that's my question for, for you, Leo, I suppose, like what, how, you know, with, with all these all these followers and these followers um, growing every day, um, what, what, what can Lisa do with this with this crowd now that's forming around her? Well, I mean, the first thing, of course, is these people are following her completely at random. They don't have any expectations. Uh, you know, they some of them may be jerks, as is often mm -hmm. happens on the Internet. But what it gives you, Lisa, is kind of this bully pulpit where if you do have a great cause, which it sounds like you do, I'm really thrilled to hear it. Uh, now you've got thousands of people who will hear you when you when you post. And it, I think it's almost now up to you what you want to do with it. You know, uh, I, I think it's fantastic. They're very, you know, you're in the top you know, I think few percent of Twitter users now in terms of the number of followers you have. <laughs> yes, thanks, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that's the extraordinary thing about this, Leo, is that is the absolute random nature of what's what's happened. You know, this could have been anyone in the world. Well, I think that that's one of the interesting things about uh, synchronicity, isn't it? That uh, it turns mm -hmm. out it was a, it was quite a good person to follow. But that's one of the neat things about the internet, and, and really, I think one of the things that we underscore with this is that. It's a global communication medium. You know, you and I have talked before just by chance, Glenn, about the uh, Kiwi blackout a, a couple of yeah. years ago, which was just a, a great example of global activism uh, that, that changed the, the laws in, or at least prevented a change in the laws that would have been dra you know, drastic in, in uh, New Zealand. And I think that this is the opportunity that the Internet poses is a chance for people. You're thousands of miles away and we, yet we get to meet, we get to talk and we can support what you're doing. I think this is just really exciting. Mm -hmm. So why are you Lisa Tickled Pink? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Well, people that know me understand I have a bit of a pink fetish going on. Um, <laughs> And so, really? <laughs> so, in fact, the boys in my class thought it was something to do with my name that was getting all this interest. No. Nope. That perhaps people misunderstood what nope. I was doing. No, 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 no. It was, uh, it, yeah, you might. I mean, I'm sure, you, you know, you wondered what the heck is going on. Uh, um, and it was purely because you said, I hate technology. Literally, literally this is what Kevin did. He did a, a Twitter search for the phrase, I hate technology. I'm sure a number of people popped up, but when he saw somebody... In New Zealand, he said, oh, this is the one. And so it was just completely at random. Yes, yeah, so I have watched the link now and um, had a good laugh. But <laughs> and, and what happened to your, because um, you had email notifications on. Yes. Oh, again, dear. You know, oh, not, dear. Not being computer savvy. <laughs> I had, hadn't even thought about that. And by the time I got home in the afternoon from class, uh -oh. everything was just jammed up. I had, you know, three, four thousand <laughs> Um, emails come in so and um, server was like, no more, no more, we can't cope. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. So I had to figure out what was going on and um, made a few calls. Of course, I, had I tweeted, I would have got some help there. And I've got lots of new friends that are fantastic. So I think, you know, I might just come out of this, uh, um, this, this fear of technology, of this, this tweet nonsense. <laughs> well, that, you know, that's, that's the other thing. It is, you do have not only an audience... 
But one of the great things about Twitter is um, you have a community. So you can ask them for help. You can mm -hmm. ask them questions. And now I think, especially after this, now they kind of know you. And I think they'll think of you as a friend. I think it is, it's, a, it's a remarkable opportunity. Oh, I'm going to milk it. And, and that's something, that's something, because I, uh, throughout the, the past 24 hours, I've watched the um, feed of people um, tweeting back to, to Lisa. And, um, and and I've just noticed the extraordinary generosity mm. of, of people you know, and wanting to help, um, uh, you know, give assistance in, in, in any kind of way. And I guess that says something about um, the the crowd that, that forms around you, Leo, as well. Well, in a way, the best thing about having a community, and we and we do, we have this amazing community at Twit, uh, is that they are game and fun, and they love to play, and and they love to include. They're inclusive. I think they're, you know, of course, there's some bad apples, but for the 99.9 percent .9 are inclusive, and 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 love this idea and wanna and wanna participate. So, I think it's a great opportunity um, all around, and uh, I'm mm -hmm. glad to share my community with you, Lisa. I think this couldn't be better. They can't say enough um, good things about you, Leah. So you know, I'll have to st start watching you now. Absolutely. We, we call them the Twit Army. They're now marching. The Twit Army, in yes, behalf. yeah. <laughs> they, are, they have been marching. Uh, and, and how 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 high can 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 you take this? Do you think, Leah, or how high can Lisa take this? Well, we're going to give it a couple of weeks. I think it helps a little bit that the one of the people who follows her will win an iPad. That's a good way to incent it. Um, and, uh, and I think that, uh, it, you know, it, the hundreds of thousands of people will hear the broadcast. So if, um, I, I think you'll probably get to 50,000 Lisa before it's done. At least I hope so. And I hope everybody listening to Whammo will follow Lisa yeah. tickled pink on Twitter. I think the, um, the, the, the population of Twitter users in, in New Zealand is the equivalent of, um, a place called Timaru in the South Island of New <laughs> oh. Zealand, which, uh, <laughs> There's, I think it's about 30, 30 to 40,000, and it's out of a population of 4 million. Well, so everybody who lives in New Zealand should follow Lisa, obviously. Um, I mean, she, you're now New Zealand's biggest celebrity, aren't you? Um, that, in certain circles, I'm sure. <laughs> After Kiwi, I was, Kiwi uh, Take Kanawa, uh, you're the next. So, <laughs> <laughs> soon after soon after it happened I, I i tweeted i said um lisa could potentially be the most followed person in new zealand um but then then i realized that richard mcmanus from read right web lives here and i think he is a i, th I think it's it's close to a million or over a million really oh well that's going to be hard yeah. to get that high i'm afraid yeah well, it's been an extraordinary experiment, I think, um, I think Leo, and uh, and it just really just shows the the power of social media, and um, and and just the, and as you say, these global networks and um, and people making connections with, with each other. And um, two days ago, Lisa was was <laughs> starting off on a journey, I suppose, on her own experiment with Twitter, and didn't know that it was going to explode yeah. like it has. So, so, so Lisa, is there a website for uh, this project, or is there a way we can find um, out more about? No, it? there isn't. What I'll do is. Um, my friends on Twitter have been talking to me about how best to set it up. So I'll put some sort of link on um, eventually. Good. Today's the launch day for this project. So, um, you know, there'll be more information coming in soon. And I've been asked to put up my own blog and all sorts. So it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, my, apo so, yes. <laughs> my apologies oh, <laughs> for picking you out of nowhere. But I, I, I think, you know what, by, I don't know whether it's their fate or chance or just luck, but I think you picked the right person. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, Lisa. Nice and to meet you. Leo, Leo Laporte, thanks so much for uh, for joining us live here as well and having us over the um, over the, over the Twit, Twit network and, of course, to uh, to Lisa for coming on in. Absolutely. Um, and thank you for bringing her in. I'm really thrilled. I, I, I think you couldn't have picked a nicer person. I agree. Yeah. Thanks, Leo. All right. Boy, All right, that's great. So, um, oh, that's so great. Yeah. Lisa, Leo such Laporte, a pleasure. Um, over in Petaluma, California. Uh, so go check him out at live.twits.tv or just twit.tv. And uh, and Lisa, um, uh, at Lisa Tickled Pink, in one word. And myself, um, twit.com forward slash radio ammo. We're going to play a track now from Lawrence Arabia, The Undesirables, at 7.30 now on Kiwi. Oh, yeah. And we're out. What fun! What a gosh. Fun. Oh yeah. my goodness.
Hey. First radio interview. <laughs> well done. You did great. I think this is hysterical. Well, I'm I'm really thrilled to meet you, and I'm glad you're such a good sport. I I, I de no, deeply you. appreciate that. And I apologize That's again for springing this on you, but it looks like it ended uh, happily. And we'll we'll continue to talk about it next week and give you a, uh, once you have a web page, we'll give you a plug for that too. Absolutely, thank you. Leo. Thanks, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Sure. Take care. Hey, thanks, Leo. Bye, Glenn. Thank you so much for setting this up. No worries. Anytime. Oh, that's great. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Doing the twit. Doing the twit.